been tough. These ribs are not. I am not tough. And uh, you knew that from watching the video of me trying those spicy wings. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall food challenge win number 1209. I am still in the amazing Denver, Colorado metro area. We've got, again, lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Championship Barbecue. Now there are three locations all around the Denver metro area. We are all down in Lone Tree. I'm hoping to become one of the few elite people to dominate their Grand Champion Barbecue Challenge. Now I've got one hour to finish everything here. They used to have this challenge going for many years. They actually brought this back specially for me. So big thank you to the owner Jason. He's the owner of all three locations around Denver. There is a whole load of just deliciousness here. We've got six ribs, six bones, pork ribs of course, a half pound of their chicken wings. I went with their buffalo hot sauce. Uh, we've also got a half pound of their jalapeno cheddar sausage. We've also got a half pound portion of their chicken and that is chicken thigh, so even better. Here we've got a half pound portion of their smoked beef brisket and then we've got a half pound portion of pulled pork. Uh, we do have some sides in addition to two pickles and some pickled onions. So excited for that. We've got a whole massive pint of their homemade creamy macaroni and cheese. We've got a whole pint of apple slaw and then we've also got two slices of Texas toast. This beer here, we'll talk about that later. One hour, if I fail, it's gonna be $75. But if I do win, I'll get my entire meal for free. I will get a gift card to come back and use later. I will get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection and I'll get my name and photo up on the wall of fame. So, are you guys all ready? Yeah! yeah. Let's get this challenge started. All right, did not have enough barbecue last night, so let's dominate some more tonight. Uh, I must apologize to my friend Heavy D from Las Vegas. He actually beat the challenge that I did yesterday at Georgia Boys Barbecue. Uh, he's got the record for this one, uh, but his is a little bit different. His was all pork, so he finished in 11 minutes and 57 seconds. So one, two, three. Boom! All right, I did not get any ribs last night, so let's start with these. Hmm. They look tough. Oh, no. I am tough. These ribs are not. I am not tough. And, and you knew that from watching the video of me trying those spicy wings. Oh, yeah. I'm just about done with my research class, so in honor of that, my hypothesis is that I'm gonna love the jalapeno cheddar sausage the most, so we'll see at the end if that holds true. One more rib and then we'll switch. All right, let's actually get rid of some of these wings. These are a little bit spicy, but thankfully not like last night. You can definitely tell there's butter in this sauce. It's very good. Let's try some of this Lily Hammer IPA. This is too heavy. Oh no, we can do pinkies up. Ooh, that is very good. All right, three more wings. We had six wings total. I don't know if it's a good strategy or bad. Let's get rid of the bones uh, all from the start. All right, let's have one of these pickles. Are they homemade pickles? Yeah. Really, okay. Ooh. Yeah, this 
training. Let's go. Oh, all right, done with the pickle, done with the ribs, done with the chicken wing. I was gonna have some of this slaw, but I'm gonna wait for that just because it's cold. We need to eat that meat while it's warm. I gotta test my hypothesis, let's just have some of the sausage. Seven minutes, 40 seconds in. Got it. Woo! Oh, okay. Homemade sausage? Oh, okay. Very good. Everybody's been telling me to have a brisket sandwich, but uh, instead, I think I'm gonna have one piece of brisket to enjoy it with no sauce. Done with another half a pound. This time, the smoked brisket is gone. The wow. championship brisket is gone. Let's save these pickled onions, because I already know those are good. Let's actually probably split up half the chicken, half the pork. Yeah, and I'll have some of this as like an open-faced sandwich. We're gonna try the topper savory barbecue sauce. Let's have some sauce. We are 14 minutes, 12 seconds in. I am enjoying this, and I am very glad that I didn't rush through it, because this is delicious barbecue. Right there? I don't think this is offensive, because he's a very good looking guy. But who's the guy that's in the last song, the dad? Doesn't he have very similar eyes? I really think so. And the last song is Miley Cyrus, my favorite chick flick, so that's a compliment. Awesome. All right, let's try it without slaw first. Eighteen minutes, twenty seconds in, we're getting there. I promise to put this on there. Carolina mustard sauce. All right, let's try this out. All right, I am not done, of course, but I do know that there is some banana pudding ice cream on its way. I do not want to mix the banana pudding ice cream with the beer, so uh, let's finish off this IPA. And uh, of course, cheers to you all. Thank you guys for coming. All right, this is coleslaw, it started out cold. This mac and cheese obviously did not, so let's eat it before it does get cold. I asked if he takes tips, and now he's waiting on me hands and feet. Just, just a shout out. <laughs> hey, there you go, what's your name? Kevin. Kevin, all right. Kevin does not work here, but he's been helping me by getting these from Waters, who's been watching the videos a long time. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. Almost done, we just got the apple slaw left. Granny Smith apples in this apple slaw, which is uh, one of my favorite uh, apples, so this is gonna be good. Oh, thank you guys all for your patience.
I was about to ask a very important question, but I think my ego is just going to do it. Is that vinegar based? In some societies, vinegar is good for you. It's not apple cider vinegar with mother, though. We didn't beat 30 minutes, so this is my penance. Let's leave no doubt. We left doubt. That's not good. Oh, it is not the record, obviously. My time, which I am very happy with, 31 minutes and 24 seconds. I think I'm gonna stick with my original hypothesis. Those ribs were very good, so I am gonna say that my favorite was, in fact, jalapeno cheddar sausage, home-cooked here. Loved all that food, so compliments to the owner, Jason, and his entire staff. Thank you guys all for coming. Oh, the meal is over, now it's time for dessert. Let's have some of this banana pudding, homemade banana pudding, ice cream. Let's have a couple bites and then we will savor the rest uh, while we're signing autographs and doing the meet and greet. Ooh. Best of both worlds, ice cream and banana pudding. One more and then we gotta close this out. All right, we'll finish all that later. Whichever location is closest to you, get there. Same menu at all locations, so enjoy that. That is it for this video. It was overall victory number 1,209. I head to Phoenix, Arizona. My buddies from high school and I will be staying in Scottsdale, and the next video you watch will be a quadruple stack pizza challenge named after me, so stay tuned for that. But thanks everybody for coming. If you like this video, be sure to watch either this one or this one. Uh, previous Denver challenges, I know you will love both of those as well. But either way, win before you begin, like I have on my shirt, available in our store, link down below. But uh, yeah, catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. You wanna flip that backwards, please? And then just, yeah, make sure it's centered. I don't have very good vision. Dating Katina, is, I've gotten gray hairs, my vision's going down. <laughs> Nothing to do with age.